Welcome or welcome back on I uh, Need Help at C Square. So in this uh, uh, problem, we're gonna look to write the remaining trigonometric function if sine of theta is three over seven. Uh, my first thing to do whenever I have something like that is to do a triangle that match the given trigonometric function. So this is a right triangle. This is the angle theta. Where should I put it? those two numbers you see on this ratio, 3 and 7? Okay. Since sine is what the opposite over hypotenuse, that means this 3 needs to go here and the 7 needs to go here. That's the only way to have sine of theta equals 3 over 7. Now, if you ask yourself, is that only triangle? The answer is no. However, this is the simplest triangle and the easiest one you want to do in order to help you solving the rest of the problem. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to need to find this guy. What can we use when we have uh, two sides of a right triangle? We need to find the third one. Obviously, Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, remember a and b are the legs, so x squared plus 3 squared and C is the hypotenuse, 7 squared. So we have x squared plus 9 equals 49. x squared equals 49 minus 9, 40. And x will be square root of 40, which can be simplified, right? 4 times 10, that means 2 square root of 10, right? So I can redraw this triangle if you want. And put all the information we have now. 3, 7, this is theta, and this is 2 square root of 10. Okay, so now let's start to the other function, cosine of theta. If you remember, cosine is adjacent, adjacent leg, very important, adjacent over hypotenuse. So in this case, what do we get? Adjacent to the angle theta is 2 square root of 10. And the hypotenuse is 7. That's it with the cosine. Let's go to the next one, which is tangent. Tangent of theta. If you remember, the definition is opposite over adjacent. Opposite like over adjacent like. So in this case, we have 3 over to square root of that, right? Which we can rationalize. And that becomes 3 square root of 10, right? And square root of 10 times square root of 10 is 10 times 2, 20. And that, that's it. You cannot simplify. And now we're going to go to the, the other 3 that most of the time you don't use them, but sometimes you do. The first one is cosecant. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, right? So that is, uh, if you want to put the definition, hypotenuse over opposite, right? And in our case, it's going to be 7 over 3. Just flip the uh, given information in this problem. The next one would be secant which is the reciprocal of cosine. It's going to be hypotenuse as a definition over adjacent. And in this case, we're going to flip this guy. And we have 7 over 2 square root of 10. And similar, we're going to have to rationalize. And up with 7 square root of 10 over 20, which cannot be simplified. So cosecant secant, the last one is going to be cotangent, cotangent of theta, which is the reciprocal of tangent. It's going to be adjacent over opposite. So uh, in this case, just flip this guy. So, and that's it. You don't have to struggle to rationalize 2 square root of 10 over 3. 
And that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more math. Thank you.